Hey everybody, welcome back to My Place of Heaven Outdoors. I'm Joey. Today is Saturday, August 10th, and we are back at the property. Um, in the past video, you've seen where we just about got everything knocked down and cleared out that we were going to do this season. So today we're just going to go around, pick up some of these rocks, and pick up some sticks and level out the area. And then we have... 1600 pounds of lime to spread and 400 pounds of fertilizer and this will go over this plot here and the one down by the camp area so stay tuned come along and see what we get done today all right guys first thing we're going to do is start going around to pick up some of these rocks and I know you've heard me complain about the rocks before, but let me take you around and show you what I'm dealing with. You can see all the rocks through here. And we're just gonna to try to pick out the real big ones. And maybe each year we'll come through here and pick out some more. But this area over here we're working at right now, we're Peyton working at. It's terrible. Hope you guys can see that. And I hope you guys can hear me over the uh, loader. But what we're doing is Peyton's picking them up, throwing them in the bucket. I've been helping him. I'll get down here and help him too. We'll fill the bucket up and then we'll go dump it somewhere. See all the rocks. Just... Well, you know what they say, the Ozark is known for growing rocks. And I can attest to that. All right, guys, we're going to get them picked up, and I'll come back at you in a few minutes. All right guys, so far we've picked up sticks, we've picked up some rocks. I've tried leveling this out a little bit and I'll continue, continue to do that for a little bit longer. But the next thing I want to do is uncover this burn pile that I buried with dirt uh, last week. Kind of curious to see what's under it because I still smell something burning. I uh, don't think it should still be burning. We've had a little bit of rain since I was here last time and it's been under a pile of dirt, but we shall see.
like a bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see from up here. The world seems small. We can sit together. It's so beautiful, you and me. We meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. All right, everybody, we picked up as many of the sticks as we're going to get up now. Picked up as many of the rocks as we have. We uh, spread out the ashes. It was actually still smoldering. So I put the smoldering logs up by the edge of the food plot, and I put more dirt on top of it. Um, but I'll give you a quick pan around to show you the uh, food plot, and we're going to get started putting down... 800 pounds of lime, 400 pounds of fertilizer in this half acre plot. So go ahead and take a look around the uh, food plot, see what we got done so far. That's the pile of burnt logs that I put up on the edge of the food plot and put dirt on them. I'm going to put some more dirt on them before I leave. I got this half smoothed out pretty good. The first half you saw, I was having a heck of a time getting it smoothed out, but I'll work on it some more next week. I got to get this fertilizer and lime off my truck, and I'll be back next weekend to put down the seed. All right, guys, on this truck we have 1,600 pounds of lime, which I'm going to spread 800 pounds of it on this upper food plot, which is roughly about a half acre. Go put the other 800 pounds on the lower food plot, which is about a half acre. It's 3 p.m. right now. Uh, we need to try to get all this done today so I can get this stuff off my truck. Uh, how do I know I need it? 1600 pounds of lime. Actually, I needed 1800, but I only picked up 40 bags instead of 50 or whatever. I'm figuring this will be close enough. Usually, when you get a soil sample, it's best to go with 100% of the recommended rate, but usually they'll tell you you can get just as good results out of 80%. Just Make Use your own judgment, guys, when you do that. Uh, try to always put down 100%, but this is a one-ton pickup. I was already carrying about 2,400 pounds. So I did not want to carry another 500 pounds or whatever, three and a half hours from home. Um, soil samples. If you guys are putting food plots down, the number one most important thing you can do is a soil sample. It'll tell you what you need to, what your pH is, what you need to do to get it up to where you need it or lower it to where you need it. It'll also tell you what type of fertilizer and how much fertilizer to put in your food plot. Or your garden. You can use this for your garden too. It will help there too. Uh, yep, so uh, now we're just going to go ahead and get this lime down. Like I said, we're going to be spreading roughly 20 bags up here.
Well, guys, we got the nine, no, what is it, 800 pounds of, I can't even remember. <laughs> well, guys, we got all the lime put down in the, this upper uh, food plot. And we have 200 pounds of fertilizer spread on it. And that's going to be it for this video for up here. Uh, it's 4.30 p.m. now. Me and Peyton's going to head down below and work on that food plot for a little bit. We was hoping to get that one done today, but it's not going to happen. Uh, if I video that one down there, I'll throw some clips in here for you. If not, this will be the end. Um, if you guys like these kind of videos, give it a thumbs up. Or maybe you just like me. In that case, give me a thumbs up. If you're not already, all, all, yeah, I'm sorry. If you're not already subscribed, uh, please consider doing so. If you like uh, videos on making food plots, clearing woods, uh, basically anything to do with, that we do on our property to get it ready for us to move here and then start building on it. Um, I think that's going to be it for today, guys. Y'all have a great day.